Jesus here with the grenade coming. Oh my god! That stuff draft could be very to get outside of one side, those one What's up, PUBG Esports fans? Did you have a blast watching Week 1's weekly final? After a heated battle between KPI Gaming and Ghibli Esports, Latin American powerhouse KPI Gaming was able to take the win home. As some of the underdogs showed off their A games, Week 1's weekly final was filled with twists and unexpected events. Let's find out how accurate your ranking predictions were through the up and down. Even without a chicken dinner, KPI finished first on day one after scoring 32 kills. And that momentum carried on to day two. With veteran Silzin's brilliant strategy, they were able to consistently finish in the top four in almost every match with a lot of placement and kill points. KPI Gaming and Ghibli Esports competed neck and neck for first place. The winner was determined in match 10. Wow, what an exciting move to finish off a competitor. By also locating taking down Adder, who was alone, they were able to secure first place. No, que la verdad jugaron muy bien. Solamente tuvieron una mala partida y eso le costó el campeonato. Pero que son un rival muy fuerte y jugaron muy bien en todo el torneo. Eh, la verdad que muy bien, somos campeones la primera semana, así que ya estamos clasificados para la gran final y estamos muy contentos y ahora bueno, a festejar como se debe. KPI Gaming was ranked 24th in week 1's Pick'em Challenge, but they exceeded everyone's expectations. They were also ranked last in weekly kill point MVP poll, where people predict the team with the most kills. But KPI Gaming ended up being first place with 68 kills. KPI Gaming was able to secure their ticket to the grand final early on in the event as the winner of Week 1's weekly final. And if they keep their performance in check, they may have a good shot at winning the grand final. Ghibli Esports started off hot as they picked up the first chicken dinner of the first weekly final. They managed to accumulate a lot of placement and kill points with their brilliant strategies and excellent combat skills. On day two, Ghibli Esports was able to take over KPI Gaming and stood at the top of the ranking after winning a chicken dinner. Although Renba showed off some insane clutch plays, they wrapped up Week 1's weekly final in second place with only a seven-point difference. Combat Meister Ghibli Esports. If they maintain their current momentum, we can look forward to them winning Week 2's weekly final. In third place, we have Oath with 78 points. On day one, Oath demonstrated their strength on Erengel and was able to stack up a lot of points. Although they weren't able to defeat powerhouses Ghibli Esports and KPI Gaming, Oath accumulated a significant number of points, which demonstrates they have a pretty good chance of making it to the grand final. I feel sad because we got third and we didn't win because we wanted to guarantee ourselves into the grand finals. But either way, I think we're still happy with, you know, finishing top three, just a podium finish and, you know, a final at a grand championship. In fourth place, we have Team Liquid with 66 points. After winning the first match of day two with 11 kills, Team Liquid has really climbed up in the rankings. By continuously stacking up points until the final match, they proved that they are a powerhouse that can't be ignored. What a huge gift for the fans who voted for Team Liquid. Um, I feel pretty good. We finished in top four, which is good for us, considering the first day we only had 20 points, which is not enough for us, but getting top four is a good result for us. In week two, we're going to learn from our mistakes. We're going to step up our game and we're going to improve and do way better. These are your top four teams for week one's weekly final. The teams that received a lot of votes in the last Pick'em Challenge struggled big time, and due to that, the majority of the predictions ended up being wrong. Gen G is the undisputed number one in the Pick'em Challenge, as well as one of the favorites at PGC 2021. 
but did the pressure get to them? They were continuously eliminated early on in the game as the other teams constantly targeted them. They were able to win a chicken dinner in the final match and finish 10th in the standings. Another potential champion, Virtus Pro, faced the tragedy of falling to last place after continuously struggling to secure their loot spots. But VP making the push into Zarki. They managed to redeem themselves by winning a chicken dinner after changing their loot spot in Erangel. Gen G and Virtus Pro managed to rebound in the end. Let's see whether they can bring back their usual performance in week two. You can win 187,500 EP if you successfully predict all top four teams in the weekly final. Let's take a look at week two's poll for Pick'em Challenge as of November 29th. Winning by a landslide in first place is Gen G, followed by New Happy, Petrichor Road, and 17 Gaming. Will KPI Gaming, who secured the first ticket to the grand final, and Ghibli Esports, who just barely missed first place during the first weekly final, be able to ascend the rankings? Also, don't miss out on the event where you guess the weekly kill point MVP. If you successfully predict the team that scores the most kills in the weekly final, you'll be able to win up to 150,000 EP. Week 2's Pick'em Challenge ends on December 4th, 6 p.m. Korean Standard Time, so make sure to submit your picks accordingly. After concluding the bottom 16 last Monday on the 29th, we're now on to Week 2's Weekly Survival, with all competitors getting a fresh start. Stay tuned to find out how the tables may turn in this week's competition. That's it for today, and we'll be back with more up-to-date news next time.